I'm Jesse Janae and this is Shipping Things and today we're talking about die lines and proofs. Both are part of the pre-press process. This is important people. It's a process that goes on before like dozens of people start making plates for you and loading things onto equipment. This is the time to get it right. The goal of die lines and proofs is to actually prepare your design for the capabilities of the machinery that will actually be producing it. And it all starts with a die line. A die line is a digital representation of your design, so you can design it all at once, laid out flat. But let's take this off screen. This is a little bit easier to see what's going on. Your die line acts like a set of instructions for your manufacturing partner. Whoever's going to be manufacturing or printing your packaging should be able to supply a die line that's specific for your design. And whether you're working on it personally or you're having a designer work on it, it's good to get familiar with your die line. First, the black lines here, those are cut or trim lines. It's where your design will actually be cut out of the material. And the green line is your bleed area. If you want your design to go all the way to the edge of your item, you want to extend your actual graphic into the bleed area so that even if the box registration wiggles a little bit, you're safe. The blue dotted line is the safe area. That means everything within that area is going to be visible on your design. So anything important needs to be definitely safely in that zone. And the red lines are the fold lines where your box or mailer will be folded. If any part of your die line is confusing, test it out. You don't want to get anything wrong. And you certainly don't want a part of your design getting covered up by a flap or being upside down in your final box. So how are you going to solve that? One, take a box and actually put sticky notes to note the orientation on the box itself and then lay it back out flat to make sure you understand. With all of these flaps and panels, figuring out the orientation can get the best of even the best of us. In fact, something feels strange right now. Simple pro tip, you can even print a piece of your design at scale to check the legibility of the text. The production of your designs off screen is completely different than the planning of them on screen. And if you don't account for slight manufacturing variation, you might be bummed with your finer results. When your die line is ready to go, you're gonna send it off to your manufacturing partner and they're going to send you back a digital proof. Your digital proof might have notes or comments on it about how your design could be slightly better to be manufactured faithfully to your intention. But once you review it and you carefully look at all the details and you approve it, that's like a contract between you and the manufacturer. They're gonna produce exactly what you agree to. And make sure to do it kinda snappy because every day you wait to approve your proof is a day that eats into your production timeline. Well folks, that's the pre-press design process. So make sure to design with the physical world in mind and also carefully review your proofs. 